Hello, Star Wars Galaxy Viewer players. This is Andate Shorto. Today I'm going to do another run through Galactic War. I feel like it's fun to try to do new and different teams. Show them off the, the, way, the best way I can. Um, so yeah, this is an Akbar-led team with Han Solo. Boom. Han Solo, General Kenobi, BB-8, and Shore Troopers. So we'll see how this works. Auto. Auto. So we're going to auto all the way through. There goes. Oh, only one got, two got grenaded, my tanks. So yeah, this isn't too bad. Um, I just wanted to show it off because I think it's a kind of a cool build. Yes, I've seen some people running this build, except instead of um, Han Solo, they ran Commander Luke Skywalker, but I, alas, don't have him. I probably won't have him until sometime next year. For Commander Luke Skywalker, because I don't, I personally don't care about him. Um, which is why I haven't, I've been kind of delayed on getting General Kenobi up to, um, or not General Kenobi, um, Ben, old Ben up to seven star. So, come on, boom, ba boom. Why is no one critically hitting? <laughs> come on. Actually, I'm going to see. make sure Shore Trooper... Oops. Okay, that works. Uh, yeah, I would have done it anyway. Shore Trooper is going to be taunting next next round. Yeah, I think I like it because, like, if outside of, like, the uh, two secondary abilities for Kenobi and Han Solo, you know, everyone's going to be... Either Han Solo or Akbar is going to be assisting nonstop. Because here soon... Yep. And then, boom... Boom, 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 ba boom, boom, boom. He's doing a lot of damage. Which is another reason why I like Akbar as a leader for um, many reasons. So, oh, I do want to show off really quick before we get back into Galactic War. <clears throat> um, of course, I know this isn't the best um, rendition of using this these teams, but it actually works. I do want to show, because I found something interesting with these ranks. I don't know if it's changed since, but... So this is kind of where everyone's at on my my uh, shard. We got a Darth Vader lead. Oh my gosh, I saw that today. It wasn't there today. Um, earlier this morning. Um, let's see. Um, there was a Night Sister lead with Zeta Barris and then the zombie. And I think that would be better than um, using uh, uh, what's what's the name on um, Talia. Because it's going to keep healing. Um, Chili Dog is still, still here. So he's still at 42. So what's funny is this is a team that... Literally, you look at this team. Gear 8, Mother Talzin. I know I'm kind of going off a little bit. But I want to show this team off. Gear 8, Mother Talzin. Hardly any mods. This, this whole team has hardly any mods. Earlier this morning. Around like 4, 3, 4 a.m. in the morning. This team was number 4. Number 4. And this whole team has crappy to little no mods. Really. That's like, like this one's a protection arrow with seven speed. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And this is, was up there. And I think it's all due to the fact that it's Night Sister Zombie. If it wasn't for Night Sister Zombie, I think this team would have really been crushed. Like, Gear gear 11, um, Asajj Ventress. Gear 10, um, uh, <clears throat> oh, no, no, sorry. That's Gear, yeah. I think that's gear 11, yeah. gear 11, gear 10, yeah, gear 10, um, gear 10, Talia and Daka, gear 8, uh, Talzin and Night Sister Zombie, so yeah, it's, it's a looking like it's a really, Night Sisters are starting to get up there, and I hope that they start dominating, of course, I'd like to see more Night Sister events come around, so players can get, um, you know, the Night Sister teams up, Boom, 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 boom. I'm liking this, but boom, boom. And, and here we go again. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Han Solo is just like, I, I'll put it this way. I hate and like Han Solo. I have a, it's kind of a love hate kind of thing um, with his rework. It's, it's super insane, but at the same time, it's, it's, I will say it's annoying to face against because he'll just target any team, any character to stun. And it sucks. Boom, boom. 
Oh, poor timing. You should have waited for Akbar to do that. Or at least Han Solo to do that before you mass attacked. I will admit, I, I, I've noticed that... Okay, I'm going to go after Luminara. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> this is so funny. Boom, boom. Look at all those attacks. Boom, boom. Boom. Only if you could erase Akbar's uh, ba um, rebel leader or rebel tag just for these battles, because then it'd just be Han Solo, boom, 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 everywhere. Han Solo is your friend, and it gets around counters a lot. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> I don't know if this is an AI, um, an AI bug or a um, a game bug, or just a player just chose Zeb as the leader. They could have chose Boba Fett or Luke. Well, I don't want to select like that. So, yeah, no leadership. That makes this team even easier to kill. And do less damage. <clears throat> boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Boom, boom. This is just a fun team. Like, like this is another fun team. Like, I, I like the draw... Um, um, little to no damage. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I love the counter chance. Oh, General Kenobi didn't have retribution. That's sad. I guess he had a... a buff or, or debuff or something nice of course I'm, I'm still working on my han solo gearing him up and all that so if han solo was gear 12 he'd be dishing out tons of damage and with the right mods of course um look like that was a captain phasma team with some night sisters not bad getting um night sisters to assist with vader yep yeah, i'm gonna target vader first now I'm going to whoosh, boom, you're dead. Actually, I want to also kill uh, Mother Talzin because I do not want, boom, okay, you're dead. <laughs> it's just fun. Like, uh, most of the times I just auto, I just select the auto button and let them run through their course, but sometimes it's just always nice to help. It's always nice to help. But this is a really fun team. Like, honestly, yeah, of course you, uh, how good Han Solo is, you don't see BB-8 dish out the damage that, or, throw up his illuminated destiny yet and that's kind of i will admit for galactic war it just tells you that you don't need illuminated destiny but once you get it that makes the team even harder to kill <clears throat> boom boom douche boosh everything bashing bashing boom 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 oh yeah they slew uh kylo ren down i don't like kylo ren taunts critical damage boom and look at that and like like right here um of course that was a counter attack but bonus that was a bonus that was those were bonuses that wasn't that wasn't that wasn't stop attacking oh my gosh <laughs> just a bonus attack just oh it bonus attacks with han solo shred counter chance teams really do I will admit, I would like R2-D2 on this team. Like, you could sub out BB-8 for R2-D2. It just means you'll be having a better chance at stunning some characters, and you won't be doing as much damage as Han Solo's doing. So there is always that, you know, which way to go. Um, there we go. Boom, boom. Slash, boom. Boom, slash, boom. <laughs> it's just fun just watching this team just tear apart. It's just, it's a really good team. It really is. Now, I will admit, protection regeneration sucks, but at least you got Shore Trooper for healing, uh, General Kenobi and Han Solo, or General Kenobi and Akbar for cleansing, and as well, Akbar does heal when he cleanses. So you got essentially two healers and two cleansers in the little triangular form. And then you got the guy, well, you, you do have BB-8's cleanse when he illuminates Destiny, but if you're never illuminating Destiny, then what's the point? But I actually I actually like this. Let's go after Wedge. Make sure Wedge is down so we don't have to worry about it. Critical immunity. Take that, son. Take that. Yeah, that's that's right. That's right. Boom boom. Oh you missed. Oh you missed on that one. it's always nice when you do a mass attack like uh there was one time i was just playing around with a team and i used general kenobi um two of the jedi healers 
and then Han Solo, and you just heal, and then everyone just charges. Heal, everyone charges. It's just fun. Oh, they got eliminated Destiny. Boom, boom. Extra damage. Oh, yeah. That's actually really good. That's the first eliminated Destiny so far compared to using the droid teams. Droid teams kind of actually hit it off really well, but then again, that's because Eliminate Destiny cools down faster with droid critical hits. Ooh. This one I think I'm going to play. I'm going to play this one really quick. Um, and go from there. So let's see. I do hate you. Let's do counter. Oh, yeah. And mass. And you're dead. Downside is you don't have a dispeller. That's the only downside. Boom. There we go. That's what we need. Boom. So really just getting Shore Trooper Cleanse. Boom. And now we can get rid of Palpatine. And then this one. Boom, boom. Oh, got rid of the turn meter too. That's one thing I will admit. Han Solo is really powerful with this turn meter gain or drop. And I'm just going to auto from there. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Oh, that one didn't do a, a summon. Huh. Oh, well. <laughs> but yeah, that is the Galactic War with this team. I, I think, the, you know, choosing different teams, these are these are teams that are, can be very viable in, in the meta. Well, at least it's this team. The droid teams, not so much, because droid teams aren't... The last few droid team battles I did on Galactic War, it, unfortunately, droid teams just, just are lacking in some areas and get destroyed by Commander Luke Skywalker teams and the uh, and since they do a lot of critical damage any Rex led teams they just get destroyed so um but yeah for the most part you know that's this is the meta I'm running into and I unfortunately do have trouble with running it <clears throat> getting higher at this time which means I may have to sub out a character or two and add in another one so and this is the team I run you know kind of a generic triple cleanse except i could essentially get to the point of swapping chase out for uh zaris kenobi zaranobi or however the the phrase is and run that combo i'm still getting the cleanse i'm still getting the heal i'm losing the dis massive dispel from bays however i am gaining the um or i could actually draw up cheer it out and throw General Kenobi in. That is another viable option. That's another viable option. Because General Kenobi also taunts. Um, he helps cleanse. So there's still the triple cleanse. R2-D2's triple cleansing. Outside of Darth Nihilus. Double uh, double cleanse for Nihilus. Triple cleanse for everyone else. Um, essentially. And yeah, General Kenobi throws up crit immunity here and there. Um... And is taunting just as well. He cleanses. So that's an option I could run. But I'm not going to play around with uh, my team in this one. I may play it around, do a video and play around with it. And see what I can do to make a really viable team with what I have. And make it work to get me past the 100 mark. So, And I know I have the, the characters needed. And throw, or Nihilus is one. I will admit I still need to gear up Nihilus. He's still gear 8. But that tells you, you can have a gear 8 Nihilus and still do really well in the arena. So, but yeah, again, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the team I just used in Galactic War. And you guys have a wonderful day. And I do appreciate those watching.